Okay, so we are going to continue from where we left off in our last video. And what we did, so we sent out a message and a friend's request to approximately 100 people. Now those people are starting to accept our friend's request. So as you can see here, these are my messages. So I'm already been doing this, so I'm already been engaging in, in this. So as you can see up here, like uh, this is somebody who I engaged in a conversation. But what we want to really look at is, is uh, those people who have accepted your friend's request. So on, uh, on the top of where it says your messaging, you'll see some people where take for instance this guy so i sent him a friend's request i sent him this message and this is the copy and paste message that we were sending but he didn't engage me in a conversation he just accepted my friend's request and so if that happens it will automatically be added to the top of your messages okay now there are other people that you will have sent out a message uh Take, for instance, this lady right here. So I sent her a message and connected with her, but she also responded a message back to me. So she goes, hi, Christopher. Uh, thanks for connecting with. And so I'm going to show you how to connect with her as well. Now, what I have is I have a couple of documents. So this is the document of all those who I have connected with and who I'm trying to engage in a conversation. Now, this list over here is a list of those people who are uh, who I'm actively having conversations with, okay? But what we're gonna do is we're going to create a document for this. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna come up here, open up a new tab. We're gonna type in Google Doc, Docs, and it's gonna take you here. And then we're going to select go to docs. A lot of you may be familiar with this, but if you don't just follow along with me and then uh, we're going to go ahead and click a blank document. And um, I have a bunch of these, but let's just say we got date, name, contact information and notes. So we need at least four spaces. So we're going to uh, click insert go to table and then we're going to select four of those and then up at the top we're going to type leads and you can change the size of that and then we're going to type over here we're going to type date name contact info and then notes and then and then we'll highlight this okay now we can shrink the space for the date because you don't really need that much that big of a space for that and then notes so we'll move it around something like that then what you want to do is you want to come back over to your LinkedIn and so let's look at this. So here's our guy, Michael. Okay, so like I said, he accepted our friend's request, and but he did not send us a message. But if you go over to your messages, you will start seeing all of these people in your message box. And like I said, some of them will have responded to you and some of them will have not, but they did accept you as a friend. So we're going to come over to his profile page. Let me show you again how I did that. So I just clicked on his name and then it took us to his profile page. We take his name. And so first of all, it is uh, 426.22. I'm going to put his name in here his contact information so we'll come back over here here's his contact information um and so what we're going to do is we'll come up to his address bar for linkedin we'll 
select copy and then we'll put that in as his contact information we'll make the box a little bigger and then we'll come uh, that tab and this in this particular case he does have his phone number now some of you might be a little intimidated right now to make a phone call to him but i'm going to show you how to you, you still want to catalog his phone number no matter what even if you're just going to send him a text message so we'll put his phone number over here now let's say that he did not have his phone number which you're going to find a lot of that okay and so what you're going to do is you're going to come back over here to google and let's close this so we'll just copy his name and we'll put his name over here and then we'll type in real estate so it's going to come up with uh some some search results now one thing i will say is this is a lot easier for um real estate agents but if you're you know whatever target market that you're going after whatever type of prospect that you're going after you will want to put his name and then perhaps instead of putting real estate you might put his company's name name or something like that um, but in this case we put in his name and then followed by the keyword of real estate so it does geo targeting so it looks for those people who are local to me in your geographic local area but now it has his phone number so again we would just highlight that copy it come back over here we've already done this though and paste it okay but we don't need to do that uh, but that's how you would search for it if if uh if you didn't already have that information available for you okay now though let's go back over to linkedin and like i said we now have some people who actually sent us a message so we'll do that in our next video this video is about seven minutes so we'll do that in our next video so so uh, just move on to video number two and i'll give you the following steps